Hi, this is Mike Armstrong, State Representative for the 12th Legislative District. I'm in Olympia representing the 12th Legislative District. It's been a wild and crazy half session so far, at which we are about over halfway done now. It's amazing to see how much time we're not spending on the operating budget. You know, we're in the middle of a recession, and this recession continues to drag on. And I want to talk a little bit about what I think it's going to take to get this recession behind us. A couple of things that it's going to take. It's going to take government getting out of the way of business and letting business do what they know how to do, run a business. It's going to take the construction industry the opportunity to get out and go back to work. You know, when you hear talk about a 9% unemployment rate, you, what you don't understand sometimes is that of that 9%, the biggest margin of that is construction. 34% of construction workers are unemployed right now. And without them going back to work, nothing's moving. The real estate market's another issue. We continue to see declines in the real estate market and quite frankly, real estate's not moving. It, you would think with the decline in prices and the low interest rates that are available, you'd see the real estate market starting to move. It's not happening yet, but watch for those things to be signs of this recession getting behind us. As we move forward in Olympia, we see a lot of bills that just quite frankly don't make sense. This has been an odd year for some pretty strange bills to come before us. We passed one off the House floor that I was vehemently opposed to. It allowed unions, union representation, inside executive session meetings of the Transportation Benefit District boards. Those boards are made up of elected officials, union members that are not elected by the citizens that that body represents should not be in executive sessions. Executive sessions are more private sessions where they're limited on what they can talk about and they're not allowed to vote on anything. Everything's done out in the public's eye and I believe that's where anybody representing um, a non-elected body should be. So as we go through the rest of the session, keep your eye on the operating budget. We've got a lot of work to do, $1.5 billion deficit but keep an eye on the transportation supplemental budget as well. It should be coming out in the next few days. We're well, well ahead of schedule on the transportation supplemental budget. Judy Cliburn and I, the chair of transportation committee, have been working diligently to get that budget done. It's a pleasure representing you here in the 12th legislative district. And if there's anything I can do, feel free to contact me. And if you get a chance, sign up for my weekly email that I send out. All that information is right here on the screen. Contact us if there's something we can do for you. This is Mike Armstrong, State Representative for the 12th Legislative District.